like a little man, but my goodness, he's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Not My Bag. I'm Joe, and joined with me today is my better half, it's Kane Ruddock. Oh, that was a really nice intro. Oh, this is a couples you. therapy podcast. <laughs> I'm going to start off really quickly with a topic that we've been arguing about. Um, I, I felt poorly last night. So I went to sleep at like 9 p.m. And apparently that was a problem. Oh, God, here we go. I was going to sleep earlier than Kane. Kane, take it away. It's not even poorly. It literally turned to me when I got into bed and he went, sometimes I do it for attention. No. And I'm like, so you admitted it then? Everyone out there has at one point in their lives not got enough attention and suddenly had a oh, stomach ache. I knew it'd somehow be my fault. Jesus anyway, Christ. anyway, let's move on. <laughs> um, we've moved sets, guys. It looks exactly the same to you, but we are somewhere alien and foreign. It feels completely different. It feels strange. I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> I like it though. It's we're roomy. We're opposite some new pods. We don't have Grace here anymore. Yes, in the room next door. I know. No, next door, but one. I know. It one. feels weird. It feels weird. There's a lot of masculine energy in here. It's a bit... <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, life updates for you all just quickly, if you're wondering where Lisa and George are. Uh, George is currently in Santorini. Shock. As is... <laughs> <laughs> Shock horror. George is on holiday. <laughs> Uh, George is in Santorini because it's Lolly's birthday this week. When this goes out tonight, so I don't want to spoil what I've got her, but uh, she loves Hello Kitty, so got her, got her some fun stuff for her birthday. Anyway, um, and then mum is revisiting her Welsh roots in Tenby with my dad. If you can't tell from her Instagram story where she was like, it's been a while. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> hashtag Wales. Hashtag, hashtag Wales. On the road to Wales. Hashtag my girl Dolly. Rest in peace. Oh God. Stop. Hashtag seafood was a great hashtag the other day. We, <laughs> we love you. We love you, mum. I love her. We love her. Uh, she'll be back soon. Hopefully next week if she can find her way to this new studio. <laughs> but anyway, um, we just got back from a trip to LA and Vegas. Oh so before more couples therapizing... Uh, I thought that we could recap on that journey. Um, so I've got some points here, Kane. So I'll read okay. them out and then we can elaborate. Yeah. Um, so we got upgraded on the flight there, which was great. That's I've never flown uh, business before. It was crazy. It, it was, was so nice. I got pissed three times. I got pissed and then fell asleep three different times. That's how long the flight That's was. That's how long the flight was, <laughs> um, which was great. But I think more to the point, our room... Almost got broken into when we got there. This was really scary. Within like 10 minutes. Um, I'll set the scene. It was scary because I was naked. It was scary because Kane was in the shower. Um, <laughs> that was the scary thing. No, so when we got into this hotel room, um, Kane went and popped to have a shower and I heard the door go in and I thought, what's going on here? Like, this is a weird time for housekeeping to come in at 7 p.m. I never do this, but I was highly strung from the flight and hung over. So I went to look through the, the peep hole mm. and someone was stood there like trying to zoom in to see what was inside our room. Then I panicked. So I called security. They moved yeah. our rooms, whatever. But how weird. So check your peep holes. <laughs> I think what was weirder as well is that we realized during the course of our stay at that specific hotel that when you actually close the door of the room, it takes a second for the lock to actually Lapse. Which I don't tell you, so you can just walk in if you push a door. You know, like an electric lock where it doesn't always latch straight away. It like goes yeah. after a minute. It was that situation. So that's what's the scariest thing is it feels like somebody knew that information, which is worrying. Yeah, it was an inside job. An inside job. Um, it's that crazy woman from the front desk who <laughs> wouldn't shut up. Yeah, I know. There's a lot Ooh. going on. Um, I almost got assaulted in the toilets at Sir, which is Lisa Vanderpump's bar. Oh my God, We met Sean. this crazy man called Sean who said he knew the owner, to which we said, oh, how do you know Lisa? And he just went... <laughs> anyway, I think he, he was said on he lived, drugs. He said he lived next door, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he said he lived next door, which was a car park. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing was... Um, <laughs> he might have lived yeah. next door in the car I park. I feel like him. we believed too much that night as well. We it did. Was, um, we were very drunk, to be fair. But yeah, he followed, followed me to the toilet, didn't he? Yeah. Um, but then I locked the door. So thankfully, it was a lot of things going on with doors in LA. Too many doors. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was scary. Um, what else did we do? We went to Vegas... And met Christina Aguilera. And I made a TikTok with her, which I was pretty gassed She up, was the scariest, but loveliest person. Like my heart was going pitter-patter, pitter-patter in my chest. Yeah, she is. Um, 
She's amazing. But the moment I pulled that tripod out of my back pocket, she meant business. She went, she looked me tell dead me what in I'm the doing. eyes. And she tell said, me what I'm doing. Tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> I was shaking, shivering. I thought my... She also, to know, she wasn't being mean either. She was just so professional. It was like, let's go. Let's and get I'm it done. And I'm highly unprofessional. So <laughs> it, was a, it was a weird mix. Um, and she was on stage in five seconds. Yeah, so she, I, she made the TikTok and then literally walked onto stage. So yeah, I was pretty happy with it. She looks amazing she, in a minute yeah, as well. I've never seen anyone look Whatever so she is on, I would like to be on too. <laughs> um, anyway, after that, we went on a party bus and ended up at a Wiz Khalifa gig. Now, just <laughs> sit here just a second, just even those listeners at home, just take a listen to Kane and I and think, <laughs> would these two gay men ever be at a Wiz Khalifa gig? It was the scariest it time was of my life. I was I so scared. scared. Um, I was like, I'd like to leave. I just want to add, right, <laughs> that the lights were on which I just have never known in a club anyway. So the mm. lights were on, so everyone can see how they are. And it said when you walked in, refrain from smoking weed. Yeah. And, every and when I tell you, not a single person refrained from doing a single thing in that room. It was so scary. It was like GTA. Anyway, <laughs> it was GTA in real life. Yeah, but we left after five minutes. I yeah. thought I, can't. I actually sat down because everyone was stood on like this podium, and I sat down because I didn't want to be a target. Yeah, <laughs> so I left everyone else stood up. I was up doing the Scarlett Johansson dance. You know the... what I mean? Just trying to get get some attention. It didn't work. <laughs> Um, bear with me. I've logged myself out the iPad. Um, also, when we got back from Vegas, um, we were really tired and we decided to go again and go out oh in WeHo, God. which is LA's version of Soho. Yeah. And um, Kane, why didn't you tee up what I did? So we met our friend Marcel's friends and it was really fun. We were having like nice drinks and stuff. And we we're like, oh, we're getting a bit fun. Like, let's go somewhere else. So we walked down the strip. And like Joe and Marcel are in front. So I'm walking with these two guys that I don't know. He doesn't know, very know well. them. I don't know them. Um, so Boom. I'm walking and then I'm like, oh, shit. I'm gone. Joe's gone. Like Marcel's gone. I don't know where. Okay, cool. I'm just kind of like, I've been to WeHo before, but I don't know my way around. So I'm like, okay, cool. They must have gone in here because they literally just disappeared into thin air. Walked in. And then we go to Joe's Pov, which is, um, I was drunk. And giddy, you know, that giddy drunk where you're like, I'm such a silly boy. <laughs> so I saw this, like, it was giving kind of sex shop, but it had all these outfits. So I ran in. I it thought, was a sex shop. <laughs> Call a spade a spade. It was a sex shop. I said, I'm going to go get changed. Oh, God. So I went into sex shop and I bought this glitter vest and joggers <laughs> with glasses. And I had a fan that said, break my heart, not my hole. No, break my hole, not my heart. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, and then I went in and got changed. And then basically I walk out the door. Kane is stood there like, where the f have you been? Like, I'm I wasn't angry. I was just confused. I was, I, it must have been 30 minutes. I was walking around a club by myself and I was going, where on earth is Joe? Like literally walking around. There's like weird men everywhere. I was loving my life. When I came out, I was dancing up against a tree. I had this outfit on. The worst thing about this entire story, which I didn't remember till I got reminded was when I was paying for the clothes, which were on my back <laughs> at this point, I was saying to the guy at the till, like, this is how you keep a relationship alive. You surprise your partner. The guy was like, what the f***? He was literally looking at me like, yeah, okay, tap your card here. It, it was, was, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm... I, yeah, it was just all Did it lot. keep our relationship alive? Yes, I guess it did. Yeah, exactly. We're still talking about it now. Exactly. So I mean, maybe it worked. That's how you do it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we went on TikTok and tried all of the uh, viral food trend yeah. things. We tried Raising Cane's, Crumble Cookies, in and out I don't know why I just did that, but in and out I actually really liked in and out Raising Cane's was incredible. Um, Raising Cane's... If you ever go to the US, is the best thing you'll ever have in your we life. We took a 40 minute Uber. Oh my God. And a seven mile hike. 40 <laughs> minutes into the hills, one psychic reading later, and I've got that cup of sauce. Oh yeah, a psychic reading. Yeah, which was, she, well, she said Kane was going to um, split she, up with his girlfriend, so. She looked at me and she went, this is how she opened the conversation. She went, you're a helper, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? She looked at me like I was a sickly child. Like she was like, mm, bless you. And I was like, I don't know what 
What do you mean? She did tell me to be more impulsive, and I think that explains the glitter out it. it was so was it she was night? real when she was right because no it was prior to that oh that yeah okay. so she called it really she really did um anyway raising canes incredible crumble cookies bit overrated guys can't lie to you i prefer millie's cookies i'd rather go to bloody lakeside yeah and get I, a millie's I cookie completely agree i think crumble cookies is fine bit sickly i don't think it helped that we made our video trying them um where there was a bunch of Running around outside of Subway screaming at us. So we kept I kept having think, to grab the phone. Yeah, we kept having to grab the phone, the cookie. So I think that tainted the eating experience. Yeah. So maybe we should go we back We were sitting try. on like a table with bird shit all over it. It wasn't nice. Yeah, it was a bit rough. <laughs> um, and then Erewhon, great, broke my bank balance. It it's, was a lot of money. It's like, what, how much was it for this movie? Like $22? Yeah ridiculous it was it was too much like it, it was it made it not enjoyable for me and the Hayley Bieber one broke me out and I was meant to do it's got hyaluronic acid in so I just kid it broke me out I think it's all bullshit I think it is but it was good it was good anyway just putting anything in that that was LA and Vegas in a nutshell um <laughs> lot happened you know lot wherever happened. we go chaos follows um <laughs> hello people of the UK in the Joe Bags universe this is me Marcel LA slash Vegas was a crazy fun trip. And I think my favorite part about the trip was the amount of personalities. But I, I have to say that my other favorite part definitely was our last night dinner. Like it was like it was like a real housewives episode. Like where was the camera? Where were the mics? And where were the producers? Because first of all, I was feeling feral that night. Oh my God, I was at that table. They brought over this giant like salad thing. Like they make the salad in front of you. And I started saying to the waiter like, who's gonna toss my salad? Oh, he's tossing the salad. Toss my salad. And we're at a very like fancy restaurant. Like extremely fancy. Like people are like in suits and I'm sitting here being like crazy. I've got a game. For us to play. Games on your phone. Uh, <laughs> Games on the pad. <laughs> Games on the pad. I feel like George today in his hoodie. Yeah. Um, discontinued. <laughs> but. Oh my but God. He's bringing out a whole new drop soon. And it is sick. And it is really good. He's really so, good. Yep. Wait and, wait and see. Thank me later, George, for that. That plug. Yeah. Anyway. Um, affection game. So I've got five images in front of me. Okay. And we've got. Uh, it, so they're displays of affection given from a friend. And as like a couple. Given from a friend. So listen, hear me out. Sorry. See, he does this all the time. All the time. Jumping down my throat. Anyway. <laughs> so they're forms of affection given from a friend, right? And as a couple, we've got to rank them from one to five. For example, like kiss on the cheek, whatever. And five being, yeah, that's acceptable. And one being like, what the f Like that. A friend oh, should not be doing got that. You. To you. Got you. Got you. Where okay, we are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got cool. You. Got whiteboard. Oh. Feel I'm back at school. I'd give you the shit one if we were at school. You're a horrible, horrible I would. girl. I'd fling it to you as well. He does this all the time. George finds it so funny. Kane calls me a horrible girl. You're a nasty, vindictive little girl. And what else? What is the catchphrase that I keep saying around the house? Oh my it? god. He hates this. I don't even think we should be putting this on a public forum. Yeah. I'm, actually, I'm not sure. Do you want this on? Can you bleep the word when we do it? Okay. What do I keep saying? He looks at me and he goes fully seriously as well. He'll look at me and he'll go. <laughs> I'm a good girl with a bad <laughs> It is the most vile thing. It's <laughs> and he did this. He did this when we were on ho holiday. We were so hungover. He came and jumped on my face with his bare ass cheek and was rubbing my face going, I'm a good girl with a bad Sometimes. I've got a video of it. It can't go in. Sometimes I'm going to be a bad girl with a bad Oh, you're um, just vile, <laughs> is what you are. Right. On to the affection game. <laughs> Image one. A hug. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. It's awful. <laughs> a hug. A hug? Yeah. From a friend? One to five, a hug from a friend. Male friend. Okay, and one being... One being not acceptable, five being... Yeah, fine. Okay. The one being, like, totally gross, unacceptable, five being, like, yeah, sweet. Okay. I'm going with three. Oh, it's just a hug, innit? I don't know what the other ones are. Depends if you f***ed them or not. Oh, Jesus Christ. It also depends if they're straight. Okay. 
Fair enough. A lot of context to that one. There's a lot of context that we're missing out here. Okay. A face rub. (laughs) Face rub with what? (laughs) That picture's uh, just a hand on a face like this. A face rub. I want to go with like a caressing of the like. Right. That's weird from anyone. Um, It's hard because I don't know what other things are in there. So yeah, I guess that's the game, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm going with one. Why would I want a man touching your face? I don't know if you've got a blowjob in there. I don't like <laughs> Yeah, but it's a one. Okay. Oh, you could you can say the number more than once. I thought it was ranking them to five. Is it ranking them? That's what I was going in. Oh, is that it? Oh guys, I it. Shit. Shit. Oh, that's the point of the game. I'm really sorry. Um, okay. I'm having a blonde moment. Um, well, what did I put for the first one? You put um three for the first one. Okay. okay. So I've just done a three. So Shit, did, and then I've I just done a five one. and a three. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. You're oh, wasting I've all your ne- good numbers. Oh no, okay, now I've messed it up. Next one, sitting on lap. Yeah, okay. Give it a five. <laughs> <laughs> sitting, sitting on, on laps. laps. Um, sorry um i don't want to use up any of the good ones i've done I, a two i think that's disgusting <laughs> if anyone sat on your lap that's crazy a four no it's, i just don't want to use up any of my good ones i'm just being oh, clever about no, it you're doing that thing where you'd be too nice if someone came and sat on your lap in a club you'd be like oh okay that's fine <laughs> no, <I'm watching. laughs> okay yeah i'm fine with that <laughs> Foot massage. Yeah, exactly. Now we're going crazy. Foot massage. No, because, uh, you know, I can get one of them in the in the now shop. So. Oh, f- go and let anyone the... massage so your I'm going to say a four for that. Four. So you think a foot massage is bad? Well, it's a bit sexual, isn't it's it? It's not a toe suck, though. Yeah, that's true. So. It's not a toe suck. Okay. And the next one. Piggyback. Oh, well, I've not got to put one for that. So, <laughs> so I've, done, like... I've done five, which is absolutely fine. Yeah, you've no, done well. Like I've done well. What's your one? I've had to put one because I've, I've not got any other ones left. Hey, and that's why you never play it safe. A sexual piggyback. That's why you should never play it We've safe. all been there. Okay, so it looks like I, I won that round. We're not really doing a competition, but I make everything a competition. <sighs> you know. Sorry, I had a Red Bull in the car. I've got really bad gas. Um. Anyway, I've got a, I've got a Mr. and Mrs. Okay. Right. We're just pointing. Or Point saying. and say for the, oh. for the listeners at home. What they that? need to. Joe. Well, I think that's you. Like, I you. Oh, okay. I hate you. <laughs> right. Number one. Who overthinks everything? Oh, it's me. Defo you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's me. Not going to yeah. comment on that one. Um, <laughs> who showers less? It's Kane. Kane showers less than me. Yeah, but also coming for context, I'm not a dirty tramp. <laughs> it's just that Joe takes about seven showers a day. I just, yeah, it's a bit weird, but I just can't leave. If I go out and leave the house and then come back to the house, so I've got outside stink on Yeah. Me. Whatever I'm doing, I feel like I've got outside. I yeah. can't get into bed knowing I've got outside stink on me. But what you will do is that you'll come back from the gym all sweaty and tired and then lay your sweaty body on the sofa. You do. So make it make sense, guys. This is the irrational. <laughs> okay, right. So next one. Um, who has a nicer bum? Kane. Kane has a nicer bum. Why are you... You didn't, uh, you didn't even think to point at me just to make me feel better. You. You didn't even think it's to you. just be like... No, no, I said you. You didn't. I you did, just I sat there you. in silence. Oh. You. Who is the better driver? Oh, me. So me. Me 100%, but we'll never agree on this, unfortunately. You are the worst driver ever. Oh, he's awful Hey, you always killed us like twice on the motorway. I'm bad at driving because I sing and play music, but that doesn't make me a bad driver. Yeah. If it does, arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> um, who is always... No, okay, sorry. Miss one. Who always sleeps in? Oh. This man... It's... This man, I have to wake him up like a child. I have to like knock on the door. I feel like we need to call Lisa for this because this all has context. Lisa cannot cope and same with Joe because Joe is now an extension of Lisa and they are the same person just with short brown hair. 
they can't really. cope when they can't cope when someone's in bed past 8 a.m they just can't do it Hello. hiya just a really quick one um yes. what's your opinion on the fact that kane wakes up so late <laughs> That's just extremely lazy. You are crazy. You are both crazy. So, you should just get up early in the morning, enjoy your day, and you can sleep in the afternoon. <laughs> Tell him to get his ass out of bed. My alarm is at 8am every single day. Honestly, whenever he's round us. Six. I'm yeah. up at six every Yeah, day. that doesn't mean I have to And be. I'm up at 7, 7.30 and I'm on. Yeah, I know. But see, the thing is, he should get up when you get up. <laughs> This is the thing. I'll wake up. I'll wake up thirty minutes later, and he'll walk in and go, "You've pissed me off today." Yeah, I'll, I'll listen. It's the same in our house and all. Case closed. Um, love you. How's ten V? Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Taking some lovely pictures. It's so. It's honestly, it's beautiful down here. Sun so is absolutely shining, and we're getting burnt, but it's lovely. Well, hashtag seafood. Um, I'm on live on the pod, so I'll see you next week on the Hi, next everyone. episode. Oh uh, yeah. Bye. All right. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right. Case closed. Case closed. Um, Jesus. Okay. La 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 la. Um, who is always on their phone? You. I am. You. Busy B. Always. CEO. Always doing stuff. Boss and life of CEO. <laughs> You're horrible. You did that to be nasty. No, I didn't. You are a CEO. Nasty. Um. Who has the worst singing voice? Joe. I think that sets me up because you're literally like trained to sing. Yeah. So, bit of a shit one, really. <laughs> I can rap though. No, you're very good at rapping. Your so, guinea picks up a rap verse like I can rap. pick up a rap. <laughs> not very good at singing. Um, who takes the most selfies? I think probably you. Mm, I think probably you're you. You're very selfie -y, though. Am I? No. Um, who is better at arguing? Joe argues with himself. I'm so good at arguing. Yeah, I'm very argumentative. I would say I'm argumentative. I could put. A, say I like to challenge. I could put a mirror in front of Joe when we're having an argument, and he wouldn't even realise because he's just talking. That to himself. is true. I'll work it out by myself. Yeah, he'll get there eventually. Work but... it out on the remix. <laughs> um, who has better style? You definitely. I'm awful with anything like that. I ask for your help all the time. You do. I like to style you, to be fair. I like, it's because I, all my life, all I've ever been in is like lycra. dance clothes and yeah, lycra, lycra and like, just like jogging yeah. bottoms. And jazz shoes. And a jazz shoe and a jazz flare. Yeah. Well, we can tell. Um, <laughs> so who is the freakiest? Freakiest? That's such a horrible bit. Well, you are, you, you are, American you are well. a good girl with, a, oh no, a bad girl with a good, so I mean, it's probably That you. wasn't the thing. Oh, I thought it meant like freakiest. <laughs> You said it. Who's the freakiest? Who do you think initiates sex more? Pretty even. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're being for you sound like you've got a gun to your head. Yeah. You're like, pretty it's even. It's because you know desk. that your mum and dad are gonna watch this. That's fine. <laughs> Who loves the hardest? I'd probably say me. Wow. No, as in like, I give you a lot of like. Because you like attention. Right. Do you know what I mean? As in like, as in like, I think I'm more like outwardly. Yeah, you're very soppy. Yeah, that's it. That's what I mean. You're by very that. like, yeah. Um, yeah. You like love, love. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas you're a bit like, oh, that's cringe. Whereas, yeah, I'm a bit like, yeah. like I don't really like doing Valentine's Day, to be fair. Yeah. Did we do Valentine's Day? Um, I, I can't any. remember. I don't think we did any. Just like cards and stuff. Yeah. I think that if you start celebrating every single minor holiday, next thing you know, you're being rinsed every month. Yeah, and it comes to like Leprechaun Day, like, and all of those like random Saint holidays. Patrick's Day, but fine. Yeah. Um, oh God, yeah, that's yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. Anyway, who gets more jealous? I don't think. I don't know. I don't really get jealous, yeah, but if neither. someone pisses me off, yeah, I just go like that. And then it's a drink. I don't think... <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't think either of us are really, like, a crazy, like, angry, jealous person. Yeah. We're both pretty chill. I think it's good to be chill like that. Otherwise, you'd just be tearing people's hair out yeah. of the front and centre. Oh, no. Who has the biggest body count? I actually don't know. I also don't want to know. 
I think it's you. Carry on. Uh, who is Mo? Oh, who is Mo? You, you just saying that then just makes it look like it's me when we actually have no. <laughs> we haven't had that discussion. I think sometimes in relationships, it's best that you don't. I also think it's just not necessary. But either. I do think it's you. Okay. Well, I think it's you, you fucking slag. Yeah. Not the silence. <laughs> who is more likely to cheat? That is a crazy That's question. That's a crazy question. That is a crap you. Um, oh my God. Who this, is, I'm not going to put this out if who, this is just going to be killing my character. Who is the boss? He likes to think it's him, but it's me. It's not. That's such no, it's a not. lie. It is Joe. That is a lie. It's Joe, but like I want an easy life and he doesn't want an easy life. I do not ever. want an easy life. I, want I just want to <laughs> just like, if he's happy, I'm happy. Like that's fine for me. Cool. Um, who fell in love first? I don't know. Um, I think you said it one day. I think you like slipped up and said it, I think, before we said I love you to each other. Oh, did I? Yeah, I think so. And then you were like, Hee -hee. Was I? Yeah. Hee -hee -hee. And I was like, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, needy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. Who eats more? Me. Probably. I eat. Yeah. So much. All the time. I need yeah. I need whatever Christina's on. Tell you that. God. Um, who is smarter? I think you're academically much smarter um with stuff like that. But I think it also just depends on the thing. And I think you're smarter with like building things and smarter with like your legs. Like they're way more flexible <laughs> than me. Like you got well flexible legs. If I could trade my smartness for the leg kick that you do in a heartbeat. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm better at manual labor yeah. kind of stuff. And I like using my brain in that kind of way. Yeah, like Kane could build things and I... Yeah, that's fun. I can't do that. But you're really smart. Oh, You are. You are very smart. You're making me cringe. Next one. Oh, who fuck. is See, messier? this is what I mean. This is what I'm up against. Who is messier? Last question. Go on, hurry up. You. Yeah, here we go. Oh my oh. God, guys. He brought oh, back this me. s'mores kit from the US. It's just been on the side. None <laughs> of us even like s'mores. We don't even <laughs> like s'mores. Why are they there? I thought it'd be fun. It's like a random <laughs> like screw on the side or like, I don't know. And then I've you know what? I've got lots of projects going on. Let me finish. Then I, I get out my iron. I iron my clothes. It's a problem that the hot iron is oh. on the side. Sorry, do we put a boiling hot iron in the cupboard and cause a house fire? No. But... Let's also keep in mind, we have one room in our flat that's called the content room. I ain't having this next segment. There's not a single bit of content I've that has never been filmed, filmed in that this room. room. It is full of all of his it's shit and it's just strewn everywhere. It's a home but because, sense panther. Because you have your own place for your stuff, that's where you're messy. Whereas the rest of the flat is spotless. But then oh, I... Are you saying because you have no space for your stuff? Yeah. So then my stuff literally just all is in one wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. Put the smalls in there then. <laughs> you're Not rocket science. You're such an awful person. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go one or two ways for the viewers. They're going to be like, he's being abused. <laughs> Kane's being abused. Get him out of there. <laughs> um, okay. Just some further questioning that I thought uh, that I wanted to ask Kane on this podcast. Okay. Um, okay. What about me gives you the ick? Be as mean as you want. Okay. Well, never going to do that because that's Come on. mean. Come yeah. on. You know I hate this when you go, <coughs> he coughs like an iPad kid. Like, and he'll do it in my face. <laughs> he'll run up to me and do it in my face. I don't do he'll it do, seriously, He'll by do the way. it when we're cuddling. He'll do it from across the flat. I can hear it from seven continents away. He'll just go, <coughs> <laughs> and it is the most vile thing ever because it's not necessary. It's just like so gross. Or he'll do it just to piss me off. I'll be tired falling asleep and I'll go, <coughs> it is gross. Okay, that is true. Any others? Not really. You think it's an ick, but I don't think it is. Um, my oh. mum, we grew up, my mum never let us use the dishwasher. So oh. I just wash everything by hand just out of... Yeah, this. and it's never fully clean. And Kane like shouts at me to use the dishwasher, but it's just so scary. And like, I just never know what to do this, with it. This is the terror that Tell has instilled in the bag's household. Like He's we, like, I'll do the dishwasher. Dad only uses the dishwasher. Yeah. So therefore, I don't know how to do it. It's also a really, really convenient excuse for Joe not to put things in the dishwasher. He's like, I can't touch it. I don't know how to use it. So what? Put plates in a rack. For any um, for any parents watching, let your kids do things at home because otherwise we grow up terrified to use appliances. <laughs> and that's the lesson here. God's um, sake. 
if someone said you're punching or vice versa, how do you like react to that? I delete comments oh. and ignore them. Oh. Like, oh, no one's ever said it to me. No, oh, I didn't know. Remember when someone said it's my face at Grace's tour? I was actually really upset about that and it actually really hurt my feelings. Oh. Yeah. We're getting so, deep in emotion. So, on this yeah, part. if you think about that. Wait, Grace's tour. Grace's Grace tour. We went to the Palladium. We sat up there and these really drunk girls. Everyone was being really lovely, by the way. This, I think she just meant in a jerky way, probably. But we were with Amy Simon. Yeah. Um, and Amy Simon got fuming because that girl was like, ha ha, which one of you is punching? It's death or you, I came. feel like the thing is, when you're drunk, <laughs> like obviously I crack jokes and I'm drunk and they just do not land, whatever. And yeah. I feel like when people go to watch a Saving Grace podcast show, I guarantee they've had oh, a bottle of Lambrini smart. out she on was the smart, street. So I didn't like... Yeah, so they're it always was more like, just me being over sensitive, yeah, yeah, as usual. I know, but it's okay, it's what makes you you. I'm a very sensitive soul. Um, what oh no, we've already gone through that. <laughs> um, how do you feel? How do you feel about me sneaking up on you constantly? Oh my god, I cannot explain. How much I hate this. It's real. I can't close my eyes in the shower now. I wash my face with salicylic acid with my eyes burning to a crisp. Basically. Because I'm scared. One time, Kane always, always, always shuts, like locks the bathroom door. And this one time. Because I'm scared of the killer. Yeah, like Wendy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> and this one time. I noticed that it was a bit ajar. So I, I it's a sliding door. It's making my heart so beat I pulled now. it open and then I stood, right? in silence, staring at him through the glass window of the shower. I had my eyes, had closed. eyes closed the whole time. And when he opened his eyes, he screamed, fell back, landed butt naked, like all fours, crying, staring at me. Like, no, don't, <laughs> don't. It is so scary because that's how people die. Yeah, and then um, ever since I've like done it a couple of times, I've managed to get in there and he hasn't noticed. And I even did it this morning. Sometimes my door doesn't always latch. Ever since I've been like, making sure it latches and then the odd time when i get a little bit too comfortable and i get a little bit too relaxed god forbid in my own home and then he gets me that's how you keep your relationship alive yeah um <laughs> but i'm gonna maybe i should film the next one so if you want me to i'll blow your body yeah uh, if you want me to film the next one let me know in the comments i'll be looking like mudang in the shower <laughs> <laughs> no we're getting on to her oh uh last question from just for me for today um would you still love me if i was a worm Oh my God, yes. But you don't mean that. Oh my God, do you, you see how I, I cannot win? an actual worm, fully fledged worm, <laughs> Joe worm bag, yeah. would you still love me? Yeah, I'd have you in like a little terrarium. I'd take you on walks would in the garden. Would you stay faithful? Would I stay faithful? Yeah. You would not. See, this is a lot. Like, you'd just, be, a, you'd be just, a good worm with a bad <laughs> still. <Why? laughs> I just hate so it when gross. men lie. Like, just be honest. The moment I'm a worm and I'm being picked up by that crow, you're gone. Like, you're in you're fucking so heaven. So weird. I just can't deal. I can't deal. I'm in heaven. Oh, I love heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Go all the time. Doing that leg kick. <laughs> you're so weird. Um, I basically, I wanted to get to know you on a deeper level today. I didn't tell him about any of this plan for this podcast, by the way. Yeah, so I'm flying blind. Um, I wanted to get to know you on an even deeper level. And I know music is a, is a huge passion of mine. So I wanted to give you some questions. It's like this or that with okay. artists to see if we are the same. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to hit you with the first one. Right. Lana Del Rey or Beyonce. Is this for you or for no, me? No, this is for you. Oh, I'd choose Lana probably. But I, but I, I'm... That's like, ask, actually, that's a hard question. It's like asking your favourite kid, isn't it? It literally is. And it's, um, yeah, that's so impossible. By going with Lana, we are not compatible on that one. Um, <laughs> Banks or Lady Gaga? For those that don't know Banks, I, I can't even name a song you'd probably know, but Kane really likes her. I like her too. So these are obviously just set <laughs> questions then. <laughs> you literally went, you know exactly what you're doing. Okay. Because I'm going to choose Banks because I love Banks. Okay, cool. So we're not compatible on that one. <laughs> um, am, am I getting broken up with? <laughs> Billie Eilish or Tate McRae? Oh, Tate McRae. Okay. Truly. Okay, we're, we're aligned on that one. It's okay. I'm okay, truly. Okay. Um, Heather's soundtrack or Charlie XCX? I mean, I love Heather's, but I heard it too many times. I'm going to choose Charlie XCX. Okay, we're aligned on that one too. I love it's Heather's. It's a brat though. autumn. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion or Nicki Minaj? Be very, very careful about how you answer this. Oh, God. Ugh. I'm 
I'm going to choose Megan. Personally, don't attack me. I'm really sorry attack to all the Barb's him. out there. Attack him. No, because Barb's I like both. I went comment. to go see Nikki. I yeah, didn't I see know. Megan. I know. What'd you say afterwards? Hmm? I said it was great and I loved it and I had the best time of my life. Yeah, someone's media trained. I'm a Barb till I die. Uh, last one. Yeah. Ray or Sabrina Carpenter? Ooh. And that's such a hard question. That is, to me, is like choosing my kids. Ooh. Although this is the gayest segment <laughs> ever, by the way. <laughs> Although Miss Mama with her bare feet, at least Sabrina wears a little, you know, heel. Um, but still, you know what? I think, I think probably Ray. To be honest, people's princess. She's like princess. She really Diana. is. Oh, I love her. Okay. Um, we're now going on to questions from the audience. Oh God. Um, because we put on our story for some questions. So I asked people for mm. both questions for us and then also dilemmas they might want answered so i'm yeah. gonna go down and get my phone now <laughs> the RV. Go down the stairs <laughs> you go down the stairs oh, oh, oh no okay let me get it up god i'm really hungry yeah i'm starving right let's have a look i've got a um, bigfoot by Nicki minaj stuck in my head now okay i haven't got too many next time i might offer a prize um, and then maybe some of you will want some dilemmas answered. But mm. uh, do you want to start? Um, let me have a look. Da, 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 da. How is it living in the Bags family? You're asking uh, me? I'm, oh, no, that's just what I got asked. I was born into it. <laughs> I couldn't, there was no choice, really. I didn't know I we were asking to... each other the question. Oh, okay. I thought it was just like the um, general. Okay, fine. Yeah. But how, um, how do you feel? I mean, it's fun. It's really fun. I like the chaos. It is fun. It's really fun. Like, and I, I love, I really get along with your mum. Yeah. Like me and your mum could like spend like a day together and we'd have the best time ever. So like, yeah. I love it. It's fun. I think for me, I always thought that when I was 18, I would get a knock on the door with this butler <laughs> on a chariot being like, you passed the test. Like, <laughs> woo! Like, we're your real family and we're taking you to this. Yeah, here's your trust fund. But no. Your mum uh, like takes off a mask yeah. and she's like, it was all a lie. Because I'm nothing like my brothers. I'm I'm tanned, tall, like we don't even look alike. I thought you, I was adopted. I'm tall, dark, handsome. Tanned, good looking, Jesus great personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. No, I love your family. They're very fun. Um, I've got... um. Someone saying, do you like my edits? And they always make edits of us and we do love your edits. Yes. I love is it the Coma? Yeah, the I Jodie Coma. Yeah. Yes, I love her. She's very sweet. I don't love know that. her, but she seems really sweet. And um, she's really nice. Another one. Does Kane open windows? Oh, is this is Sam, isn't it? Your this manager. This is my manager, Sam. And yes. So basically Kane loves to cook cod in a two bed flat and not open the windows. It's very lean protein and it's good for you. Fuck yourself. Oh my God. Um. Okay. Any others? Um, how did we meet? Have we spoke about this? We've spoke about this before. Yeah, Maddie Jepson's birthday. Maddie party. Jepson's birthday. Yeah. Um. Da, 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 da. What's? I've got one. Who? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Me and my boyfriend are doing long distance at the minute for uni, UK and US. Oh wait, she's done a two part thing, and I can't find the other part. Okay. Uh, well, all I'm going to say is, um, that must be it's rough. Gonna be hard. That must be rough. I would personally advise, you know, you can get those Bluetooth dildos or whatever you can oh do. Oh my God, that control. is not what I expected. That is, I would recommend that to keep the pussy throbbing. And, oh um, my God. And yeah, I would just recommend that. That's a lot. Yeah. Oh. I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to put her on blast, but I hope that helps. I hope you're watching. Jesus. Anyway, I, I've got one. God, I'm a bit stumped now. Um... Who are your biggest inspirations in life? Mine? Yeah. Biggest inspirations in life? It feels like the beginning of that uh, Pretty Hurts video. Yeah, it feels like a Beyonce segment. But who is my biggest? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, biggest inspirations? In my mum. Why the silence? Uh, no, no. I, no, I was just thinking. <laughs> yes, she's an alcoholic, but she's great. <laughs> no, I was just thinking. <laughs> um... Yours yeah. is probably Kimberly Wyatt with that leg kick, isn't it? Do you know what? Kimberly Wyatt, I actually, because she followed, remember when we were at Shoreditch House once and she followed me and we were speaking about her. So it was very ooky spooky Halloween. And I really want to dress up as her for Halloween. And she goes to this big dance convention called Move It. And I, um, I messaged her to do a leg tilt video with her. What did she say? She read it and ignored me. 
I love her as well. All you're going to have to do now is dress up as her and then do it as like a homage. Yeah, of course. I love her. And then she might reply. I hope so. That's so rough for you. Uh, speaking of air DMs, I aired the guy that does the Bruce cake because I really wanted to get Kane a slice and it sold out. I was going to pay for it. He just ignored me. Yeah. So if anyone's tried the Bruce cake... It looks really nice. Don't rub it in. It looks fucking insane. Um, um, this is a good one. If you could have a physical feature of one of one another's, what would it be? Probably your ass. I have no bum. I have no bum at all. Like you know, when I look at it in the mirror, and I'm like, I know you're gonna sag as well. Like when I hit. No, I like your bum. No, so it's gonna be like it's gonna have to be BBL. Oh my god, a soft BBL. Yeah, like a plumping one. Don't go crazy. What would you take of me? Because you've been very silent on that. Front. I, I, you know, I, I love your freckles. My and freckles. I, I think they're the cutest thing ever. I my love your freckles. My hyperpigmentation. My... No, it's a really cute feature. I like it. I'm being serious. I always say your freckles are cute. And I want them for mine. Right. Okay. <laughs> Bit weird. <laughs> it's just like a thing on the skin, like nothing, you know, physical. What, like nothing, what? And you just want like, me for my ass? My, like, just Jesus like, oh, Christ. Like, even I would have been happy with like neck or neck. <laughs> like, I just think to go with something that's just neck the skin is just a really weird take from that. It's like, why? It's like, oh, I have, why have it, you had have this mole? It's like, well, what? You that's know, it's really shallow of you to put an ass like a physical attribute over like something really cute and like what unique feature? to you what sorry i want your your loving personality like obviously not i no, want your ass but freckles are like a cute like individual part of you not not just a big ass <sighs> fuck off fuck um break. so another one from val outrageous <gasps> you didn't come <laughs> see me at the nta so now we're officially over Oh my, that's intense. She works in the boxes at the O2 and um, we I'm almost sorry. flew her out to Austria once when we were drunk. <laughs> um, so I'm really sorry, Val. Someone's put, we need to know when the Sunday Roast series is coming back on mine. Okay. Okay, okay. Pussy PSA. I am Pussy <laughs> PSA. Hi, pussies. So I'm <laughs> currently working on a way that everyone can see the family in real unfiltered in a real unfiltered way um <laughs> it's just taking some time because i love the roast so much but it became so overproduced that i don't feel like we were ourselves do you know what i mean mm. so it was more like it, it was more like a bit... podcast right and i don't want it to be like yeah. that i just want it to be like you can literally see me scaring kane the best part the best parts of your family are your family just being your family like and unedited. just being yeah. unedited? Like, yeah. and just like your mum just being her like complete self, not in like a set behind a yeah. table situation. It felt like, even, I mean, guys, we didn't even cook the food. Like it was, the whole thing. It was all a lie. It was camp. And it was, it fun, was fun. And I really enjoyed doing it, but I think that I want to do it again, but in just more of like a, a free fun way. So, yeah, you know, watch this space is all I'm saying on that. Um, yeah. I've got one. How do you work around each other's busy schedules? Um, it's hard because you are also very like, not very forthright with what his schedule is I'm a lot of the time. Awful. I can be with me. Like even like <laughs> this morning, we've got something that potentially we might be going to tomorrow night. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I think it could be quite fun for us to go. And I only found out about this also yesterday. And he's probably known for a few weeks. He was like, yeah, it's been in my calendar. And I'm like, okay, well, I've got a really busy day tomorrow. So I'd love to know that either we've got something nice to look forward to on the evening or whether we're just going to chill and have a, like, watch TV at home. And he's like, yeah, well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I don't know what's happening. Then we might be I doing this. I just think you've got to go with the vibe on the day, you know? Yeah, that don't work for me a lot of the time, I think. I think I like to be like, know what's happening, where he's very much like, which is weird for you. I go where the wind takes me because if I try to organise my life that much, I would have a... It'd also probably be overwhelming. A breakdown. Yeah. Whose family are you spending Christmas with? I think probably, probably our own, but probably similar to what we did. Well, what we did last year. You do like, like Christmas Day one, Boxing Day the other. I think it's a really good split for families yeah. for Christmases. Yeah, definitely. I think. Um... La 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 la. What else am I looking at? Who cooks tea? Neither of us. You because, mostly. Well, though. I will cook for Kane when we do cook because yeah. I just don't trust you. You're so, you're so generous with salt. It really stresses me out. Oh my god! I constantly catching strays. <laughs> I'm not a very good cook. I'm really, really not good. Um, advice with overthinking in partners. I'm so bad at it. Advice with overthinking. I think just like. 
hear someone out always. Because even if you're not worried about something or you're not stressed, like they are still obviously clearly stressed about a situation. So just listen. My thing is, if you think that he's doing it, he's probably doing it. Oh my God. He's probably doing it. So I would just confront, abuse. What? (laughs) See, this is why we're like chalk and cheese because I'm very reasonable. If you think he's cheating, key his car. Oh Because he probably is. (laughs) If you think it's happening, the gut never lies. My gut has never lied. You've got IBS. <laughs> yeah, I know. So it doesn't really, <laughs> it's not a great gut. But yeah. a couple of Yakults in and I'm fine. Um, what else have I got on here? Um, I got a please shut your dirty mouth from Mason on the questions. <laughs> Thank He is honestly too much. He is... Tell me why that man moved to Manchester and came back to London for 10 days straight. Literally. He's, he's the most delulu elusive person and I'm obsessed with him. He's crazy. Um, I love him. How how do, how does he deal with you? It's about you. How does okay. he deal with you? Because you're a Taurus like my boyfriend and you guys are difficult. Take it away, Kane. Um, how do you deal with me? I don't deal with you per se. That I feel like that's a really like a lot to say, but you're just, you are a lot, but like you just, I like it. I, I'm not bothered. Like, oh, um, I wanted to end on some current affairs. Okay. But these are like my current affairs because I don't really watch the news. I thought you could say because I don't give a fuck about <laughs> yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, like, because I don't really watch t- uh, normal news. I normally get most of my news from TikTok. So this is... Which is, stuff. please don't advise people to do that. Which, uh, That's was, not good advice. Guys, the news is boring and I would just go on TikTok for your news. Your mum's going to kill you for that. Um, yeah, mum loves terrestrial TV and will God. scream at me if I don't watch it. So... <laughs> Current affairs. Um, yeah. I'm obsessed with this uh, baby hippo called Mu Deng. Now, Mu Deng <laughs> is, we'll put some pictures on screen. Mu Deng is uh, challenging her keepers with unexpectedly big crowds that she's drawing into the zoo. Two hours south of the capital of Bangkok in Thailand, it's increased by a thousand people going, right? Mu Deng, what do you think that means in, in Thai? Um, what do you think it translates to? I don't know. Bouncing pig. Oh my God. I know. And um, got millions of followers online. Uh, she is so cute. So basically all I'm saying right now is I'm just plugging Mu Deng because I'm obsessed and I and really no, want No, tell the sad bit. Oh my God, guys. It uh, almost made me cry. Almost shed a tear, right? She's no, not dead. She's, she's not fine, dead. By the Mu way. Deng, because her reactions are so funny because like when she's squirted with water, she screams and stuff and like yeah. bites the keepers. Like People are antagonizing her by like throwing shellfish at her and like spraying water at her. Because they want to see the funny face, which is, it's funny, but it's Leave Mu it's Deng so alone. Sad. Don't throw things at her. Leave Mu Deng alone. I can't. Also, she's so cute. if we get a dog, I really want to call it Mu Deng. What, instead of Celine? Yeah. No, we'll have Mu Deng and Celine. Mu Deng is a chihuahua. Well, we wanted, we've got three names on the board at the minute. Celine, Sparks, and Mu Deng. Also, just for context, we really, really want to call it Sparks because we love this girl called <laughs> Sparks in America that we met, who is... She's so nice. The biggest angel and in the we world. Love Sparks, her. Like, if you see sounds, this, we love you. It's weird to name a dog after someone you've met and really like, but we just love you. She's an icon. But I do like Mu Deng as well. Yeah. It's also a very cool name. Sparks. Um, also, oh, I had another bit of news as well. Cool. Um, right, this is big for me. My, it depends on your, your <laughs> depends on your for you page. This one, but uh. so Becky Jones, Corey's World, <gasps> and Leah and Charlie Ann are all going on a cruise. Do you know the only additions that I would want to that? Yain and Kane. Yain and Kane. I know, I know. I that would this. be my fucking, what is it? The um, um, Avengers. My Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Avengers endgame. I want all, oh, sorry. I want all of them there. Um, I cannot wait for this content. Like when I tell you, my whole For You page is just random people being like, they're almost on their cruise. Like we're so excited. They're on, no, the, the, is the, it today? I think it's today. I saw Charlie did something this morning, I think. They're on the cruise today. Oh, Guys, God. I'm strapped in. I need them to live the entire thing because I'm going to be, yeah, I can't wait for it. It's TikTok is so weird how that kind of content, I find it so enjoyable to watch. Same, but also so random at the same time because Corey's World made it like a meatballs dish, oh, right? Oh my God, this is and, so good. And he was like, yeah, so I get really bad heartburn. So I always finish off my dish with a tablespoon of Gaviscon. He poured it in. He poured Gaviscon into his meatballs. 
I've, I don't I've think it works like and that. Instead of using red wine, he used a maggots, like a magnet, like Jamaican tonic wine instead of red wine. I. It's incredible. It's incredible. Um, so I need like, I want a documentary following them. We're thoroughly enjoying their Actually, content and waiting for this. Let's do it. What? Let's get a production company. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> um, lastly, on the outro, I'm mm. um, just going to end with this. Oh, um, lastly, I got worse dressed at the NTAs this year in the Daily Mail with the quote, while no one could accuse Gogglebox star Joe Bags of being dull, his satin suit was eye-catching for all the wrong reasons. Right. That's just not true. And it's not satin. It so was, get your one, fucking materials leather, right. One, it was leather. Two, she spelt no one K-N-O-W. Yeah, this ain't right. I, this ain't right. Come back to me once you've done a spelling bee and then slag off my fit. Do you know what I it mean? It also, like, we saw some of them. Like, you weren't the worst dressed. Like, I liked that suit. Do you know what? Like, people, people are afraid of being different. <laughs> my mum would say. <laughs> <laughs> and you just got to be yourself. <laughs> You've just got to be I know full well she self. called you and said that exact thing Mom to you. Like, just be brave. <gasps> oh. I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway. And Ollie, um, the designer, did a great job. Yeah, exactly that. Um, that's us for today. Um, thoroughly enjoyed having you on. Oh, thanks so um, much. <laughs> that's all right. We love making dreams come true here oh, on Not My, my God. Um, so, yeah. The amount of these podcasts that I watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, thank you so much. And I hope this really made your day. It really did. Thank you so much, Joe. <laughs> him anyway <laughs> thank you guys for watching uh make sure to like subscribe rate us five stars we're booking in some more guests coming up so let us know anyone you'd like to see on the podcast coming up and we will see you next week with hopefully the fan back from the holidays and we can all have a good old time Woo! love you loads bye, bye.